guys. Welcome to the Thin Blue Lane RV Life. We are going to go over our first year. Most of y'all know we just hit our first year. We're going to go over uh, all the places we've been using RV Trip Wizard. We started out December 22nd of 2019 at Melissa, Texas, right here. And then we went down to Lake Conroe, which is where we are now. Funny thing. It's where we are right this minute. We stayed at a random park down here by uh, Nancy's mom's house. Then we went to back to Lake Conroe, and then we went to Lake Medina. We went to Tropic Winds uh, RV Resort, which is down way down here in South Texas. I mean, close to the border of Monterey. Very nice, very warm down there. And then guess what? We went back to Lake Conroe. We kind of like it here. Then we went to Lake Osprey RV Resort. That was a uh, halfway part mark going to Florida. Then we ended up in Orlando. Then we went to Peace River, one of my favorite campgrounds. And then we had to get out of the system for a little bit, so we went to Toby's RV Resort for six days. We went back to Peace River again. And then we went to Orlando. And then we went to Peace River again. We went uh, out of the system to Hitch and, Hitch and Post Corral and Campground RV Park on July 5th. I'm not sure why. I think that's on the way back. Yeah, we're going back to Texas now. Back to Lake Conroe. <clears throat> back to Melissa, where we started. Stayed at a random campground, A-OK. -okay. That was... Probably, yeah, Amarillo, Texas. And then we went to Enchanted Trails RV Park where we stayed for 22 days, not on purpose. We were doing all of our repairs and stuff there in Albuquerque, New Mexico on July 24th. And we ended up in Thousand Trails, Las Vegas. Very tight parking for a rig this size. In fact, no one, including myself, believed I was going to get into that spot. Uh, if you ever go to Thousand Trails, Las Vegas in a big rig, it is... Um, a tight squeeze. Then we went to uh, Shady Haven RV Park and Mini Storage. Yosemite Westlake. No, that was Bakerfield, California. Yosemite Westlake was in Culterville. That also was uh, not a good place I would recommend for large um, RVs. And then Paradise, Yosemite Lakes RV Resort, Thousand Trails. We were there for 21 days. I know Nancy and I would, wouldn't want to leave, but the gas prices there are so bad. So then we stayed in a truck stop because we're shooting over to um, Mayberry. So we shot over there. Uh, it was stopped in Boron, Texas. It was 324 miles. Uh, you can see, I'll zoom out here. We went from this thousand trails all the way down to here. Why the GPS took us this way instead of cutting straight across, I don't know. Maybe there's mountains in here. For some reason, the GPS wanted us to go this way. <clears throat> we stayed at near Boron, uh, California in a truck stop there. And then we went to uh, a place near uh, near Thompson, Utah, in Thompson, Utah. And that was also a truck stop. Then we stayed at the Wild Country RV Park. And we were there. Uh, that's where we had to repair our hitch. And then, that was September 27th. And you just saw the hitch video that we just did. Mayberry Campground, so that was 600, 324 miles in one day, 626 miles the next day, and 355 miles the next day, and this says 1,545 miles the next day. That is probably inaccurate. I'm pretty sure we stayed somewhere between Wild Country and there, but that's uh, Mayberry Campground right there. It says we went 1,545 miles. I'm pretty sure we stayed somewhere. I just must not have logged it in here. Okay, then we went to Hopkins uh, Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and we stayed there for 40 days because we were in the parking lot of our uh, of my niece's house. We stayed there a long time, but we also did a lot of repairs on the truck. We did some repairs uh, on the house. We ordered a bunch of stuff and waited for it to all come in. Then we went back to Lake Texoma, Texas. Then we went to Lake Medina, Texas. That's where you saw the video with all the deer. And then we went to Thousand Trails, Lake Conroe for 21 days, and that's where we are now, and then afterwards it says we're going to go to Sunshine Holiday Daytona. It says there's a night available. We're probably going to stop somewhere on the halfway mark at a truck stop. Uh, and then we're going to Sunshine Holiday Daytona, Florida. And that's going to be right over here on the East Coast. We have not been to the East Coast. And then we're going up to down to Orlando and then back to Peace River almost a year after we were there before. We're, we have reservations there. Um, and then after that, we're on our own. So after February 20th, my goal is to hang around the Florida area, whether we have to stay in Thousand Trails or not. There's only, as you can see, these two. Uh, well, there's more than that if you zoom in. But we, we want to get down into uh, into the Florida Keys. And if you wonder what this outline is around everything, this is how far I want to drive in a day. 
So from right here where we are right now, if I want to drive as far as I want to go in a normal day, this is it knows I want to drive no more than uh, what I think I said five hours, so or, or eight hours, something like that. But it, it knows to stop me right along in here somewhere. So these Passport America parks and Thousand Trails parks, these are all um, available to us. So that's it. That's uh, our year, and we used uh, RV Trip Wizard, something you might want to consider. One of the things I like about RV Trip Wizard, I use my GPS for everything, but RV Trip Wizard lets me get an idea of how far uh, I can go in a day. You know, when, when Right in here, I would start looking for a campground. It's really just a, a planning guide. Uh, some people use it for almost everything. You can track your fuel and your you know, costs and stuff like that. I, I don't do all that, but that's what we use it for. Anyway, it's a quick video. Just wanted to say hi and uh, uh, touch base with you and show you where all we've been for our first year since we shared our expenses. I figured we'd also show share our uh, trip and where we went. And if Nancy wants to come over here and say hi, that'd be good too. There we are. Hi, guys. Good to see you again. Thank you for joining us. It has been a very fun adventure. And uh, we're glad that you got to come along with us in our journey bye guys bye please uh, subscribe like and share it helps us out a lot we appreciate it bye.